Everything changed in the blink of an eye for one Center College student. Britt O'Brien was paralyzed in an accident during a long weekend with friends outside Atlanta back in August, and he has a long road to recovery. Evening Edition's Kristen Edwards shows us how Britt's community is stepping in to make that road a little smoother. Center College lacrosse player Britt O'Brien was paralyzed in August when he dove into the shallow end of a pool, which he thought was much deeper, and hit his head. When I was underwater, I thought I was like, I thought that was it. But his good friend Ian Hobbs wasn't going to let that happen. He saved Britt's life, pulling him out of the water. Like I grabbed him by his arms and had his head on my chest and like my arms under his. And he's looking up at me and he's just like, Ian, I can't feel my legs. Britt was paralyzed. When he reached the hospital, he underwent surgery, was put into a medically induced coma, then on a ventilator. He also had a bout with pneumonia. I was sitting in um, ICU, but it was very sick. We almost lost him. I was just sitting there one day looking at this and I was like, it's got all these little beads and they're all, you know, put together by hand and they could fall apart at any minute, which is how we have felt like everything is falling apart, but that it can be put back together with hard work and hard effort. That bracelet his mom Kristen is talking about is part of a colorful line of jewelry called Brit. They released it um, on August 5th, and he got hurt on August 7th. And that, she says, is no coincidence. There's something that we have kind of started calling God winks. You know, things that just happen and have continued to happen that are not an accident. And um, that was kind of the first big God wink. Another God wink? Brit's progress. Doctors said he had a 3 to 7% chance of ever moving his body again. I was like, yeah, that's not... That's not happening. I mean, I have both arms, like full range of motion now. He's worked incredibly hard to get to this point, and he has endless support behind him from friends, family, and the community. And it's all raised his spirits. But he's had a way better attitude than I could ever have, I ever would have hoped. More support now is coming from Kendra Scott, which created the Brit line. This weekend, 20% of all sales at their Lexington, Louisville, and Atlanta stores will go to Brit and his recovery. A recovery, he says, will end with him walking out of the hospital. That's the biggest goal, um, to walk out of this place. Kristen Edwards, Evening Edition.